Good morning, I'm Brian Reagan and this is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to Mornings with Brian and Tyler. And we are in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 9 through 12. Tyler, if you don't mind reading those. But concerning brotherly love, you have no need that I should write to you. For you yourselves are taught by God to love one another. And indeed you do so toward all the brethren who are in all Macedonia. But we urge you, brethren, that you increase more and more, that you also aspire to lead a quiet life, to mind your own business, and to work with your own hands as we commanded you, that you may walk properly toward those who are outside, and that you may lack nothing. All right. We have already looked at this issue of love. They were a very loving church. They were loving within, and they also were loving not just in their city, but also uh we would say Macedonia, that'd be a region. Uh, today it's a, a country, but uh, basically, you know, if we were to say like a 10 county area, that's kind of the equivalent of it. And so they were known for that. And he still tells them increase more and more. Um, love is one of those things that, the, that as you give it away, you also sow it forward into the lives of others. And that allows a harvest to be returned on it. And so in giving love away, you actually increase it coming back. But notice what else he says, that you also aspire to lead a quiet life. Mind your own business. Work with your own hands as we commanded you. Why? So that you may walk properly or live pro appropriately toward those outside the church and so that you may lack nothing. Mind your own business. Someone, do you have to say it that way? Yeah, mind your own business. That's what it says right here. You know, lead a quiet life. Shut your mouth. Mind your own business and do the work that's in front of you. Those three things. Shut your mouth, mind your business, and do your work. Why do most churches have trouble? Because people don't shut their mouths. They don't mind their business. And the work that they need to be doing for the Lord and for themselves, they ain't doing. What's the big problem in society? You know? Uh, let's see. Everybody's always running their mouth, not minding their own business. And very few people are doing what they need to be doing. And so what happens? Well, when we do it in the church, then the world looks at the church and says there's nothing to be gained by being a Christian. And you know what? They're right. If the only thing valuable about being a Christian is that you get heaven out of it, so don't demean the value of heaven. I'm not. It's not I who demean the value of heaven. If you're of no value on earth, you know what that really says? Is that the Heavenly Father really ain't that much of a father. He's kind of a failure. Because if we don't live different than the world, if we don't be different than the world, then what earthly good is a Heavenly Father? And some of you are going, Oh, you shouldn't say that. Okay. It's not my fault we give our Father a black eye. Oh, wait, yeah, it is, because I'm part of we. Just like Tyler. Tyler, it's Tyler's fault that God gets a black eye sometimes. You say, yeah, I'm going to say it again. Shut your mouth. Mind your business. Do your work. Why? So the people outside the church can see that there's a difference with the people in the church. And here's the blessing that comes with it. You won't lack anything. Because the moment you move to the place where you shut your mouth, you mind your business, and you take care of your work, guess what? Now you're in a place where God can and will bless you. You have some other thoughts on this, my brother? No, sir. All right, then we bid you good morning, Lord willing. We'll see you back at noon.